They have been funded by the National Institute of Health Research to develop a research group on the prevention and management of stillbirth in sub-Saharan Africa. And this is a collaboration with the Lagina Africa Midwives Research Network, which is a network of midwives across six different countries. So as you may be aware, there are approximately 2.6 million stillborn births annually. 98% uh, of those are in low and middle income countries and 60% are in Sub-Saharan Africa and in Southeast Asia. Uh, eight to 10% of our, of our deliveries usually end up with a stillbirth. Like for in my country, it's um, about 22 per thousand, which is quite high. I think I would say this is a very valuable project in the sense that it brings out um, the cases that we have on the ground. So many people have, uh, many research groups around the world have examined stillbirth to see why, um, uh, why it happens, what are the, what's the pathology, what's the medical problems with it. Whereas this is slightly different in that this is looking from the other side. It's looking from the woman's perspective as the effects it has on them. It's looking from the midwives uh, and the doctors working at, at, at the coalface, working in really hard situations in, in Africa. What I find particularly interesting about this project is that it brings together what we know are key steps, uh, not only in terms of problems, but solutions from both the woman's perspective, the provider's perspective, and other key stakeholders' perspective. Health is more about just finding out the origin uh, and the underlying causes of the stillbirth. Clearly that's important, um, but it's also very important that we know uh, how stillbirths affect women, uh, some of the underlying social reasons why they occur. A lot of the traditions and beliefs make it a challenge for women to grieve, so we're actually looking at how can we how can we implement interventions to make that possible in a way that's acceptable to the women, the partners and obviously the wider communities as well. We need to have a special programme how to handle them, how to make sure that they are going to be mentally, socially, physically fit. We expect to have a change in the near future probably to see that uh, the number of stillbirths reduce and as a result of uh, having this project going on.